first. Uh, it's Broadway week, which means you can get two for one tickets. And if you're thirsty for a big, brassy, classic show to celebrate, look no further than Some Like It Hot. It has everything you want Tony winning choreography, a splashy score, and Tony winner, Christian Borrell. Welcome back, Christian. Good to see you. It's so good to be here. It's so funny looking at that B roll. That was taken like a year ago. I feel like I got better. You did. So I bet you did. See, it's gotten better. But I can't even imagine because this is one of my favorite shows that I've seen in yeah. so many years. I left there thinking like, I mean, like, this is such a fantastic thing. It's big, it's bold, it's splashy, it's fun. It's um, Broadway. It's, it's Broadway, baby. It's a perfect show for Broadway week. Yeah. Um, and this show is a long time coming at, with all the stops and starts from COVID, right? So how do you yeah. feel that you're almost a year in, right? Yes. Well, I'm enormously proud. It was like a five-year process with a little two-year hiccup in the middle. Yeah. But we've just been having a blast at the Schubert. Yeah. Right. And you've done so many different kinds of musicals, plays. Mm -hmm. What was it about this show that drew you in? It was really the people, you know, Casey Nicola and I have worked together years before and uh, he was directing it and I will follow him anywhere and Mark and Scott, Shaman and Whitman who did the score, we did Smash together oh, and amazing. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and I'd do anything with them and it was just a great cast and, you know, also you I just like no working. That? Yeah, That's yeah. Right. <laughs> well, we have to talk about the dancing, which we're okay. seeing in these clips. I mean, especially the tap dancing. You're an incredible tap dancer. When did That's you... sweet. Well, what did you learn? Like, do you not consider yourself like a tap dancer? You I must. Started I started dancing in college, like really, we had a great, at Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh, we had a really good dance program and yeah. that was what kind of set me down the path. But it was a lot like, this was like a tap boot camp and Jay and I started learning that tap dance at the beginning of the show years ago. And I feel like only now am I starting to really get it under my belt. No, I And I lost 10 pounds during I, this show. That was my next question because yes. I feel like that is just like the workout that you need every day. Like I, I wish I could tap dance because I feel like I'd have the most amazing gams. So like you must <laughs> well, have the heels incredible help legs. Tapping in heels really help. <laughs> but it's up and down the stairs because the show is like a farce. It, and it's, yeah. you know, it's a romp and so we're just constantly, it's a chase. Yes. So it's nonstop running and it's yeah. really good for yeah. exercise. Well, you also have a writing credit on this show. So how did that come about? Well, it was, I'm, I'm um, a bossy actor and I always have ideas, but then, you know, the because... The squeaky wheel gets <laughs> That's whatever. right. But because of COVID, everything got pushed back. Our schedule got pushed back. Yeah. And our amazing writers, Matthew Lopez and Amber Ruffin, once it came time to do um, previews and get into rehearsals for our Broadway run, he had his first movie to direct and she had her Peacock show. And so they literally had to go and do their fancy things. And yeah. so they just needed someone in the room to kind of be like... <laughs> So it was minimal. It was minimal. Yeah, but you got to put your stamp on it. I did. Which I is did. nice. Which also yeah. put your stamp on the Playbill bio. <laughs> I love your Playbill bio. Uh, thanks. You have only credits from high school and college in there. Have you done that before? Is that like, how did that come about? No, you know, at first it was like a little <laughs> snarky thing because we have a, lim a finite amount of yeah. space in the Playbill bio. You're like, I've done bios. way too much to but get involved. I've aged, Sarah. I'm <laughs> older now. And so I couldn't fit all my credits into my bio. And so I kind of did it as a joke at first to just put all my high school and college credits in there. Yeah. Yeah. And my Macy's elf at Santa yeah. Land. But, so, uh, so well, your first gig was uh, an elf at Macy's, but you got really fired was. from that, which is When not you great. interview to be an elf, they say if you leave before January 6th, you will be pink listed. Because <laughs> what they did, like a lot of people come and they're like, I'll get like a quick holiday job. And then they bail like December 23rd. <laughs> And I bailed December 23rd. Never were you welcome back to Macy's Never. Santa Land. No. It's too bad. Listen, um, we have to talk about Smash. You mentioned Smash a little bit earlier. This has been coming to Broadway, a long time coming again. Uh, are we going to maybe see you in that? Do you think you'll be part of the Smash on Broadway? I don't think so. Why? It's going to be an interesting, vastly different thing. I mean, it's all the songs that people love from Smash. Yeah. And um, my pal Rick Ellis and Bob Martin, his writing partner, are, are writing a whole new fantastic um, book for it. Um, and I can't really say too much, and I honestly don't know that much about it, but yeah. I know it's going to be really funny and not what people are expecting oh. and quite a departure. Okay, what um, a tease. But I, th I think it's going to be really good. Yeah. I mean, I hope that they write Tom Levitt into it. I but hope I they don't do too. Think they will. Come on, we'll we just see. said it on TV, now it's a thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can catch some like it hot playing now at the Schubert Theater. Christian, good to see you. Thanks Great so much. Great to see you. Thank you.